<sighs> okay, so this is me en route to job function number two. After a long day of working for the man, working for the man. Um, damn, who had that song? Nobody had that song. Somebody had that song, but I took it and made my own version of it. And yeah, so anyhow, let me um, let me go ahead and say all this. It is not easy. It is not simple. It is not to be uh, taken lightly. And it is not to be played with when it comes to running and maintaining your own business, lifestyle, family, relationship, all these things. And most of us know this because most of us do this on a day-to-day -day basis. And they recognize exactly where they're at and what they gotta do and they know what they gotta put into it to make it happen. We all know this. Some folks don't. If you've never experienced it, once you do, you'll be like, I got it. <clears throat> I see it. There is so much that comes into actually trying to manage a, a a company, a business, uh, whatever you want to call it. That's your baby. You got to put your heart and your soul into that. Me, I came up making music. I have put my heart and my soul into every last word that I said every day. Every last beat that I made. Every song that I engineered. Every song that I wrote. Every just verse, hook, hook chorus stage performance all that stuff i put my heart and my soul into every last bit of it and that transcends throughout life relationship and everything you put your heart and your soul into it because this is something that you created this is something that you built and this is something that you are trying to make happen the way no other person can make it happen and it's difficult. It is not easy. No, 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 no. Anybody that tells you it is easy, they they ask them how much they're making. Ask them how much is in their account. Ask them how much is, they got this place open? Already? See, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I should go and patronize that place just because I want to make sure that they on the up and up. I should go in there and actually do something, but I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to give them their time. Okay, the reason what I'm talking about is there was a place that I went to typically um, on, a, I'm, on a weekly basis at least, I would go and frequently go to this place. Uh, sometimes twice in a week, maybe once a week or whatever. Mexican restaurant, very, very, very good street tacos. Amazing street tacos for the area. Then up and out of nowhere, boom, they closed. The hell happened? Why are they closed? What went down? What's the backstory? How y'all gonna do this to me? There's all these different emotions going on. And right now, there's another place. Now, just the place has been closed possibly two weeks. They got somebody else in there working it right now. They don't even have a sign over the building. Aha, this is why I should go back there. They don't have a sign over the building. They're brand new. These people need signage. These people need menus. They need business cards. They need graphic design, logos, all those things. And I provide that. See, at first I wasn't gonna go there. <laughs> now I'm gonna go there. See, this is where your mind goes. When you run something and when you own something and there's a dollar to make, I can go in there and bomb and not make nothing. I can go in there and he be like, nah, I'm straight, I got it. But I shot my shot. 
I'm gonna go do it right here, right now. I'm not gonna videotape it. I'm just gonna show what the outcome is. And when you see when I come back to this video what my excitement level and everything might be, you'll know that I got it. I know that I got it. I know that I did it. And, and, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna patronize and I'm gonna buy something out of the place because that's the way it works. I'm gonna wash his back. He gonna wash mine. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going, I'm not even gonna mention the type of, place. he might, he might have all the stuff in place already. He might, I don't know that. I want to know that. See, your mind has to go to this, like every opportunity and everything that you see is like, hmm, wait a minute. Um, maybe I can make something out of this. See, I was just riding past and just talking about the place and then it just clicked. This is your baby. This is the thing that you have and you own and you created and you made it. Why be a slouch about it? Why not do everything it takes to go ahead and make that survive and make, and make it everything it's supposed to be? You need help. Sure, you like to do stuff by yourself, but you need help. Whether that be the person that you're with, in a relationship with, and then too, be careful with that. Because mixing business and pleasure can be a very, um, it's a bomb. It can be a very bad thing sometimes if you're not doing it just right. Because your relationship level, sexual and loving and cherishing is like this. Sometimes it's gonna be like this, but it's like this. It has its up and down moments. And there is no time that those up and down moments in your relationship should also affect your money, should also affect your business. And when you end up in situations like that, your love life, your love relationship, and things that might go on affects not only you, and your relationship, but it affects the biz. You can't have that. You should not have that. Nope, not at all. <clears throat> you shouldn't have that at all. I want that truck. One day. One day. I'm not even gonna say the name of it, but one day. I'll get it. I'll be right back. I'm pulling up to this place. Good, that's good, good to see. Uh, let me see your menu. Good see time. what you have. Okay, so I'm in here right now. And, um, beautiful, thank you. How strong is this? Really? Can I eat it? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm oh, messing with you. Let me know how it goes. All right, I'm not going to do that. That's pretty sweet. So, like I said. <laughs> so, um, let me just say this much. Like I said, when I went in there. I'm sure he it's a possibility that he had somebody already working on his stuff, which it comes down to it, he does. Or at least he seemed like he does. He said he does, but he didn't sound 100% sure that he does. So, of course, I went and I dropped him my information. Now, I also patronize this place by sitting down and eating there. And don't get me wrong, the food slapped. The food was good. Probably thought I would have got a little bit more, but the taste and everything, top notch. Indian food. I love Indian food. I have no choice but to eat certain things like Indian food, Mexican, and um, uh, Mediterranean because of the specific diet that I have to be on. And I told him about it. I'm like, yo, this this is 
This is what I'm on. This is what I have to do. This is what I have to take. And, you know, I slid a little tear bit in there. Like, hey, uh, who does your signage? You know, and, and he, he worked with me. He talked to me. He was straight up. I It was a girl that had just started working in there. Guess what? She'd only been working there for an hour. I was her first client. Uh, they've been open all day. I'm pretty sure that I was one of the first 10 people to walk through the door and actually get some food. And I probably was the first person to sit down and eat in there. And on one end of it, I felt kind of kind of bad for the place that I was there before because I used to go there all the time. And on the other hand, I felt excited for this guy that just started up a new business venture. He's been, this is his first business. Well, you know, according to him, his second, but his first restaurant business. And he's trying to hit the ground running. This is his baby. He came out and checked on me. How's the food? How's this? He talked with me. He kicked it with me. See, that's a good place to be when you when you messing with people that own companies and corporations. At that point in that moment when they first start off, because guess who he's gonna remember? And the fact that I'll come back there and eat again, guess who he's gonna remember? And it probably will come down to a point where he'll say, you know what? Because he has my number now. He has the website now. Let's get this guy a chance. This is what I mean. Your business, you got to take it and make it grow. This is your baby. You got to find ways to feed it. If it's on one hand, I have multiple business structures and businesses that I have that I could, you know, utilize and get them to make money. I'm still looking into ways that I could take in and even though I know there's a way, uh, I want to synthesize that way and make it work for me and my time frame and my schedule to take all these beats and everything that I have and put them out there and get those to sell them. To take all my graphic work and everything that I'm doing to get those to sell. To sell the fact that I do photography, to sell the fact that I do actual engineering and sound engineering and live sound and all these other things under the sun. And my engineering company at the same time. These are all things that I have to focus on and actually say, this should make money, so should this, so should this, so should this, so should this. And this is me feeding right back into one end of it. I fed all the rest of them. They're doing what they're supposed to do. It's beautiful. Now it's time to get this in there also. The, the key to success is to make sure that you're continuously selling. And I'm not going to bang it out as if I'm the most successful person, you know, and, and, and I try to speak loosely. I'm not trying to gloat. I'm not trying to boast. I'm just, I'm just saying, because there's somebody that can possibly be inspired. And I hope so. I hope if what I'm doing is inspiring to somebody else to get up here and get out there and get it. Because uh, initially, what I have to do is turn around and look back at myself and say, what is my contribution to this world? Not just my fam, not just my relationship, not just, you know, this world. What is my contribution back to them? And if it's my help and assistance to help their business go forward, then I'm all for it. If it's my help and, and, and kind and encouraging words to help people get up and say, you know what, I'm going to do this now, th then so be it. As I, I said this on a live once before, and I'll say it again. I was watching a show on HBO called Behind the Green Door. And it was a show with a bunch of comedians sitting around talking, just shooting the shit and just just kicking it about what they went through as comedians on stage. And on one of the episodes, it was another comedian, probably drunk, probably thought that he was really somebody more than what he was. And he was in the background just heckling them and just talking stuff and yelling out things, interrupting what they were doing till finally turn around somebody said would you please shut the hell up security ends up coming over and getting the guy and 
bouncing him out of there and why as they held him down over the table trying to get a hold of his hands the last thing he said before they pulled him out he said hey let me know let me let y'all know this one thing as long as one person laughed it was all worth it and they carted him right up out of there but that statement has always stood with me because you really don't know the power of that one influential moment and how that one person that got affected can spread and affect so much other stuff. The influence of one uh, speaker or country or, or, or a politician or teacher or it can be one statement that somebody made one bar in a rap song, one line in an R&B song, one thing that made you grasp on and change the way that you thought and you actually felt and sent you on a completely different path. You never know exactly how that actually works. You never know exactly what can come from it. Kids have shot up schools because they've been influenced by one particular person. People, and that's a bad, that's a very, 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 very poor example of the use of it. But it happens. People have became presidents. People have became all kinds of things under the sun because of the influence of one person. And as long as that influence went to that one person, it was all for it. It's getting dark. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna get it uploaded. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm still gonna be on the weight loss program and everything that I just ate was all a part of it. I just let them know, I can't have this, I can't have this, and I can't have that. But I can have this. He went right down the menu and said, well, I got this and I got that. Bam, bet, he brought it out to me. What's up? I even told him like, you know, I'm trying to not do this. It's not like I'm gonna explode if I have it, but I need to stay away from this. Bam, bet, worked with it. That's the shit. That's what's up. I dig it. So that's the end of this. Make sure again, like, subscribe, follow your homeboy, share this, and let other people know. If you're in some way, shape, or form inspired, I like it, and I love it. And I thank you for being here. I thank you for watching. And let's continue to keep growing together. It's your boy Volcano. I'll holler.